Hello and welcome. We begin with news from uh, that uh, search for MH370, MH the missing Malaysian Airlines aircraft. The commander of that plane, Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah, had shown cha changes in his behavioral pattern before he took the flight. This is now being reported by local authorities. A striking change apparently was noticed in the way he greeted security guards posted outside his residence in the Lamanseri area of Kuala Lumpur on, on the night before his flight. Investigations by TV Today Network have revealed that Captain Zahari normally wished his Nepali security guards who posted outside his colony with a Muslim salutation. On the night he took the flight nine days ago, he saluted the guards military style, we're told. Another normal abnormality that was noticed is that he used his own BMW 5 Series to drive to the airport. He would normally take the airline's taxi for all international flights. His taxi had arrived at his colony gates about 20 minutes after he left for the airport. Atir Khan joins us now from Kuala Lumpur. Atir, uh, these changes in behavior uh, just the day before he took this flight suggesting something sinister. But uh, what, what are the authorities saying about that? Well, let me tell you, Pierre, that uh, this is uh, the headlines today's exclusive investigation which has been carried out at uh, Laman Seri, uh, which is the place where the captain was residing. Though it is being told that he was a highly experienced pilot with over 18,000 hours of uh, flying experience. He was associated with the airline for the last uh, 30 years. He's 53 years old and there was nothing amiss about his uh, behavior. But our investigations have revealed from inquiries we have made in and around uh, Laman Ferry that uh, there were some striking abnormalities uh, in his behavior that night. Uh, primarily being that, that his style of salute had changed that night. Normally he, he saluted uh, the Muslim style, but then that night he has saluted the military style that has been confirmed to us by uh, one of the security guards who on the condition of anonymity spoke to us. Other than that, uh, what we have learned is that night he used his own vehicle. There's another striking change. He always took uh, his uh, airline cap, but that night uh, he took his uh, BMW 5 Series and in his car, his wife had also accompanied him. So mm -hmm. these are the things which uh, indicate that there were behavioral changes in the pilot's uh, attitude. Uh, the, the other thing that we know of Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah, Atir, is that he set up this flight simulator at his home, uh, a rather expensive and, and fairly elaborate system. And uh, I managed to take a, f uh, a look at a few photographs of it that he himself had posted. Uh, have authorities gone through that flight simulator and tried to find out what kind of routes he was practicing on? Well, that's right. It's a very important uh, angle of the investigations that uh, such an experienced pilot with over 18,000 uh, 18, hours of flying experience, so why would he keep a flight simulator at his residence? The Malaysian Airlines says that this is not abnormal, and since he had, he was a Gizmo's uh, G. Uh, he was very keen on uh, you know giving training to other pilots but then the question is why at his residence what we have been told by the by the transport minister here in the briefing a little while ago was that that the simulator is being examined by the malaysian police that means that it has been seized and is now under scrutiny of both uh, the police and the intelligence officials of malaysia and and a final question Arthur, before you go on on his uh, family because as as we're hearing uh, while his wife did leave with him uh, the night of the flight, she only returned to the residence yesterday, more than a week later. Do we know about her whereabouts in between? Well, that's right. Uh, that's a big mystery as to why uh, she did not return to her residence the night uh, uh, Captain Zahri was supposed to take the flight. So that is another uh, abnormal thing which happened that night. It has been registered and noted by, again, the security guards which are posted outside Laman Seri. Uh, the posh area where his residence is located. Uh, this is also being examined and uh, she uh, had accompanied him while he was going towards the flight. So it seems that uh, she was either dropped on on way to the airport somewhere or, uh, you know, things, uh, it's like a jigsaw puzzle uh, whose pieces need to be put together. 
Arthur Khan, many thanks. Uh, Arthur, of course, our correspondent in uh, Kuala Lumpur at the moment, where he's been tracking events over the past few days, uh, all those uh, press conferences and, and uh, all these developments that you've been seeing, uh, especially this latest uh, report on changes in Captain Zahari Ahmed Shah's behavior. We're going to continue getting you those updates.